Nick Nurse, 2019 champion. Coach, thanks for joining us. I know you saw that shot, okay? And now you've got a chance to see that over and over again. What was it like? Can you take us through what that moment was like for you as he won that game, OG Ananobi? Well, I was like everybody else. I was pretty surprised that we hit it, right? An amazing pass by Kyle Lowry, a fantastic shot, more amazing shot by OG. And it gave us life. I mean, listen, we're going down 3-0. If we don't win that, all of a sudden it's 2-1 and, and we're back in the series. So it was huge, huge. Yeah, I'm sure the play, you know, being drawn up was pretty good too, right, Coach? Come on, give yourself at least a little credit there. <laughs> I mean, I stole that from Hubie Brown. You guys probably heard that story. It's off, yeah. a, it's off an old Hubie Brown DVD I watched about 13 years ago. So give Hubie – thanks, Hubie, again. That's about the 10th game I've I've run that play and, and had some success with it. No doubt. He's a basketball treasure. So, Nick, you recently released a new book called Rapture. How difficult was your journey to become an NBA champion, and how much of that was in the book? Well – it's a journey, that's for sure. You know, lots of places, lots of different countries, lots of teams coaching in the backwaters of uh, of basketball all over the world. Um, that's what's in the. That's what the story is about, man. Is is kind of enjoying each and every one of those teams and jobs and trying to get better at your craft. And if you get a shot at at a big job like the Raptors, you're ready for it. Coach Paul Pierce here. Congratulations on another good year. But man, talk to me. How, how was that experience in the bubble in Orlando? Um, it was okay, Paul. I mean, it was while we were <laughs> while, <laughs> while we were in there, I was doing the best I could to, to speak positively and and um, and get our team to play and and uh, give the Celtics credit. They were they were just a little bit better than we were. Um, but once I got out, I kind of was like, man, it's nice to be out. It was such a such a double edged sword, man. Because getting out felt good, but getting out meant your season was over, yeah. which never feels good, right? Never feels good. So there you go. Yeah, no doubt. And, Nick, look, obviously the goal is to win a championship, as you did the previous season. Your team was one win away from a conference finals appearance despite losing the finals MVP the previous year in Kawhi Leonard. So what was the key to this particular team's success this season? Uh, I just think it was belief. And I think, um, you know, the year we had Kawhi, we had 22 games without him. And we went 17 and five in those games. So this team knew they were they could play with, with without Kawhi as great as he was. And man, we sure missed him. But but there was opportunity for these other guys to step up, and they did just that. Yeah, there's no question. And coach, according to Woj, the Pacers are hiring your assistant, Nate Bjorkren. So what is it like to have a tree? Nick Nurse has a coaching tree. What's that like? <laughs> Well, I guess it's just like it was in the D League. Saint Nate was my assistant at, in the D League, and he went on to coach uh, Santa Cruz Warriors, and we met in the finals of that game. So here we go again. Very happy for him. Great person, great coach. We've we've done a lot of basketball together side by side. He certainly deserves the job. The Pacers got a good one. Now, did you know that he would always become a head coach, Coach? Uh, you know, I thought he had a chance, you know, mm -hmm. Paul, I think it's hard. These, these, not a lot of these jobs and you got to have the right timing and the break fall your way. And, um, fortunately that happened for me and now it's happened for him as well. All right. You got free agency coming back. Fred Van Vliet, key unrestricted free agent. How badly do you want him back next season? Well, I love Freddie, right? I think, uh, he's a lot like Kyle, you know, toughness and leadership and smarts and uh, uh, part of our core. You know, he's part of our core, so hopefully we'll get it done with him. That's awesome. Coach, as far as the rest of your squad, you know, look, we've talked about it for the last couple of years, the growth of Pascal Siakam. What do you expect from him this next season and what he tries to accomplish this offseason? Well, let's hope he can continue to grow. He had a great year going. Uh, I think the pandemic... And the stoppage of play disrupted him a bit. He was really rolling, leading into that. Hopefully, his, um, you know, he, he'd be the first to tell you he wasn't quite as good as he wanted to be in the bubble. So maybe that'll motivate him to, to really get to work here this offseason. He can come back and, and be ready to go. He's, you know, he's an all-star player. He's got he's to gotta do that year in and year out. That's, that's the real mark. Can you, can you continue to do it year in and year out? Absolutely. Any idea when the next season may start? Do you guys have any idea? Uh, I have some idea. Uh, <laughs> I, got, I got some idea. I just keep, I don't know when that is. I just say, I just tell the players that we're going to play. Uh, we're going to play sometime, man. So we got to start getting better. Let's, let's get out there and get to work. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.